I think regardless of the communication modality you use, whether it's sign language or spoken language, there are a few really essential building blocks. Uh, one is early identification so that you can get that child access to language, whether it's through hearing aids or implants or whether it's sign language. Uh, another is having good, competent, skilled professionals working with those kids early. But the third one is really critical too, which is family engagement and family involvement. And uh, that is, is a huge predictor of how successful the child's going to be, whether it's a sign language approach, whether it's a spoken language approach, or whether it's a mix. That piece is tremendous. And so to your point, a lot of what we do early on is working with the families. Um, we have kids as young as six or eight weeks coming to us for sessions. It's pretty limited what we're going to be able to do with those kids, but for all of the other hours in the week when they're interacting with their family, it's really their families that we're working with to show them, here's how to help develop that listening and spoken language for your child. Here's how to enhance that as greatly as possible.